All right, guys, I just did a video where I talked about how steroids you know, aren't really going to kill you, okay? Uh, you know, the worst thing about steroids basically is like, if you get way the hell too big, your body is not gonna be able to deal with it just like being way too fat. Muscle or fat, being overweight is unhealthy, okay? Now, I do wanna talk about something in this video and it's not necessarily about steroids. It's about quote, little air quotes, steroids, okay? Some of the most dangerous steroids are not steroids. It's like in uh, the documentary, Bigger, Stronger, Faster, I suggest everybody watch. It's just an awesome documentary, even if you don't care about sports or anything. It's just you know, a very well-made documentary. You know, they said a lot of things are grouped into steroids, but they're not really steroids, okay? In the last video, I talked about how insulin is very dangerous, okay? Insulin's not a steroid, but it's a bodybuilding drug, a performance, and not a performance enhancing drug, it's a mass enhancing drug, okay? That is very dangerous, a million times more dangerous than steroids ever will be, okay? It will literally, you can literally die within, you know, one usage. Just use, use it wrong once and you'll die immediately, okay? So, like I said, you know, are, are steroids going to kill you immediately? No, they're not at all, okay? But insulin will kill you in an instant, okay? So, let's talk about some other things that people talk about. Okay, um, you know, uh, one of the biggest problems that I think there is really in bodybuilding these days is... Like back in the old days, it would be like you'd go to Muscle Beach and all the muscular guys would jump up and flex and they wouldn't really prepare for a contest. You know, they just go go ahead and flex a little bit and that would be it, okay? Um, you know, and it was basically who is like the most impressive muscles. And even in like the Arnold era, okay? You know, you'd see Arnold, you know, getting ready for like a competition, like the day of the Mr. Olympia and pumping iron, he's eating eggs with like, you know, Lou Ferrigno and his dad. You know, so what I'm basically saying is, you know, they got ready and they dieted, but they didn't really kill themselves to get on stage for like a quarter of a second and just pose down, okay? So what am I talking about? Okay, I've got an idea. Don't drink water for three days straight. Now, I got an even better idea. Don't drink water for three days straight and at the same time, take diuretics. For those who don't know what diuretics are, diuretics cause you to basically urinate more. They cause like, let's say you have high blood pressure, take a diuretic, you know, it, you release some of the blood, uh, some of the water weight, you know, some of the bloating in your body, and then, hey, there you go, you know, your blood pressure comes down. But let's say you're a bodybuilder, you don't have high blood pressure, you're just taking diuretics and, and at the same time not drinking water. Obviously, that kind of shit will kill you, okay? Uh, so when you hear people talking about kidney issues, like bodybuilder kidney issues, bodybuilder kidney issues, bodybuilder kidney issues, is it really a kidney issue that's killing them because of steroids? Or is it because however many times they have a competition or a photo shoot or, you know, some kind of, a, you know, some kind of like, um, you know, a posing, okay, like a guest posing, they're not drinking water and they're taking diuretics, okay? That, like I said, will just jack your kidneys up. As a matter of fact, I don't, it had nothing to do with bodybuilding, but I was reading something a while ago and they were talking about like a well-known black actor who went running, okay, he was trying to get in shape for a role, he went running through Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills, California, in summer, in the middle of the day, probably wasn't eating and drinking a lot because he was trying to get lean. He had a sauna suit, like one of those really thick plastic suits, not a jogging suit, like a thick plastic suit on. He passed out and they had to remove one of his kidneys because he had kidney failure because he was just fucking overheated and under, you know, hydrated and they had to do that, okay? So that's the kind of thing that I'm saying. Now, is our diuretics steroids? No, they're not, okay? Is not drinking water a steroid? No, it's not. So like I said, some of the most dangerous steroids aren't steroids, okay? Let's talk about some others. You are on very low carbs, fat, calories, whatever. You're having problems keeping your, you know, just being awake, getting through your workouts, doing whatever. What do you do? Well, 
I remember back in the day, back in the 90s, they came up with the ECA stack, ephedrine, caffeine, and aspirin stack, okay? That was supposed to raise your metabolism. It also gave you energy. So it raised your metabolism, so you metabolized fat faster and lost weight faster. It kept you from getting hungry, so you were able to stick to your diet, lose fat faster, okay? And it gave you energy, so you could somehow plow through your day if you're on very low calories, okay? That was bad enough. Okay, aspirin is not intended for that. Caffeine, to a point, okay, is okay, but not in large amounts. And ephedrine is a bronchial dilator. It's basically like an asthma medicine, okay? It's not intended for the way it was used. And some people were like dying because, you know, they wouldn't, they, hey, I'm gonna get ready for a wrestling meet, so I'm not gonna fucking drink anything, and I'm just not gonna eat anything, and I'm gonna take, you know, ECA stack, and that's gonna have my heart beating, and I'm gonna be all jacked up, and they died. You know, but like I said, bodybuilders don't stop at that, okay? I've got an idea, why don't you take some kind of amphetamine or some kind of cocaine? Not because you're a cokehead, but just because you're taking in so few calories, you have no energy. So now you've got a guy, like I said, drinking nothing, eating nothing, and taking cocaine. There you go, that's a real good recipe for fucking dying, okay? Let's talk about a couple other things. Um, you know, like I said, diuretics, not steroids, okay? You know, other things, not steroids. There's, uh, what is it called? Is it DNP? I have zero interest in this whatsoever. DNP or something like that. It basically raises, like, raises your temperature so you lose weight or something like that because you're too fucking lazy to work out and too fucking undisciplined to diet. And apparently, that is a big deal in um, England, okay? Apparently, they're... I think it was on Enhanced Athletes old channel before they got canceled that I heard about this. There was a girl in England, I guess she took some because she was too fucking lazy to go to the gym and too fucking undisciplined to work out and she died in a, in a cold bathtub. Why is she in a cold bathtub? Because this shit literally cooks you from the inside out. She probably at some point realized, like, you know, Greg Valentino's friend who realized he took insulin and he had to drink some sh some sugar water to keep from dying and he ended up dying in his apartment with you know uh, a, a glass of uh, iced tea with sugar in his hand because he went into like low blood sugar and it's the same thing with this girl she probably realized she's gonna fucking cook so she jumped into a fucking cold bathtub and she fucking died in the cold bathtub okay is DNP I think it's DNP I'm gonna sound like an idiot if it's not but who cares I'm not a juice head if it's DNP you know like I said it's like it's, it's like one of the most dangerous, stupid things you could possibly take. Clenbuterol, not much better. It's also like a kind of a bronchial dilator, I believe, you know, kind of like ephedrine, but it's more extreme, okay? So these are things, like I said, I mean, like, you know, you're, you're not really sleeping because you're hungry, because you have no energy, because you're under stress, you're not eating a lot, you're not drinking a lot, and then you take something that speeds up your heart. So like I said, the, uh, you know, some of the most dangerous steroids are not actual steroids okay it's what it comes down to are like a lot of other things outside of it so like i said i mean i am not on steroids but i am on testosterone replacement okay i take a very little amount of testosterone during the week okay and it keeps my levels of testosterone normal even though i'm getting older and my body is making less itself okay so like i said the point about this okay is that's natural, that's great, my body doesn't make enough, I put in some more and my body's the way it used to be when I was younger. I'm not taking in so many of different types of steroids that I weigh, you know, 150 pounds more than I should. I'm not taking in, you know, diuretics that are screwing me up, I'm not taking in speed, I'm not taking in insulin, I'm not taking any like, stuff like that. So, like I said, when people talk about steroids, Really, they're probably talking about other things, and those are the things that are literally killing people. And that's why, especially the 90s bodybuilders, for a while there, were dropping like flies.